right, guys, this is one of the most exciting parts of the business plan process. It's time to find out how much money you can make. This is also one of the most important because no matter how great your idea is, if it's not profitable, it can't be a business. Unprofitable businesses are called hobbies. According to the Huffington Post, there's a happiness benchmark in each state. This is the amount of money that most people would agree would make them happy. In South Carolina, they found that that number was between $70,000 and $75,000. I'm sure that sounds great as a teenager, but as an adult with bills to pay, it's not an unreasonable amount to desire. According to the U.S. government, a single person earning less than $12,314 a year is considered living in poverty. People living in poverty don't have enough income to purchase goods needed and services needed to sustain themselves. Keep this in mind. As a teenager, you may be happy with a small profit, but as an independent adult, you'd want your business to have the potential to help you earn more than $12,000 a year. This is a story about one of my former entrepreneurship students, Anna Grace. When Anna Grace was in 10th grade, she got a camera for Christmas and started taking pictures around her farm. A few of her mom's friends saw the pictures and offered to pay her for the a print. This inspired her business. She decided to take landscape pictures and sell 5 by 7 prints for $5 each. She was able to get them printed at her local print shop, I think Walgreens, for 93 cents each. So she was making a gross profit or contribution margin of over $4 on each picture. In this business plan project, you'll be completing spreadsheets like the ones here. Let's start with the economics of one unit spreadsheet. As you can see, Anna Grace's unit of sale is one 5x7 photo. Her selling price for a photo is $5, her cost of goods sold was $0.94, cents, and her contribution margin was $4.06. Not bad. Now let's take a look at her monthly fixed expenses. She didn't have to pay insurance, and she didn't have any employees or utilities. The only fixed expense she had was advertising. She planned to spend $60 a month to put a small ad in the local newspaper in addition to buying business cards and advertising on social media. This chart shows her monthly sales projections. You'll complete this for your business as well, so begin thinking about how many units you might sell every month. It's just a guess. Anna Grace thought her sales might dip in the summer because she'd be on vacation and she'd have less time to market and sell her prints. But sales would, it would increase leading up to the holidays because people would buy them as gifts. In total, she hoped to sell more than 180 in her first year. Go ahead and take a guess of what her expected yearly profit would be or the numbers on the numbers she plugged in so far. Yep, this is the projected yearly income statement. This shows a business owner how much money they'll make in the first year based on their sales projections. As you can see, if Anna Gray sold 180 prints at $5 each, she would have $900 in total sales. But after taking out her variable expenses, which is $0.94 cents times 180 pictures, or $169.20, she had a contribution margin of $730.80. But as you know, you have to subtract your fixed expenses from your contribution margin. Remember, she was paying $60 a month on advertising. Well, 60 times 12 months is $720. So after paying all of her expenses, Anna Grace would make $9.18 a year. Only $9.18 for the entire year. It's a good thing Anna Grace didn't have to work for an entire year before realizing that she didn't make any money and wasted a year trying. It's a good thing that she took time to accurately do her financial statements. So she was able to make some changes. She increased her selling price to $8, changed her advertising budget to $2 a month instead of $60. And here's her projected yearly income statement again. You'll notice that her selling price and fixed operating expenses are the only things that changed. Now she'd be making over $1,000 in her first year. If she sells more than $180, she'll make even more. In this week's business plan project, you'll be completing the same financial statements that Anna Grace did. So you'll know if your business will be profitable as it stands or if you should make some changes like Anna Grace did. 